because nothing can be conceived by one alone. It requires the concert of two, not just one. All natural laws have the same principle. Omeyot, duality. Everything that has existed or exists is or has been generated by the joint activity of a feminine and a masculine factor fused into one. This activity is joined and incessant. Ometekutli, meaning two lords, in the activity of Omeyot, governs a supreme will and intelligence called Ometekutli. True and only creator, invisible and eternal, he is the true and only master and creator, invisible, inexhaustible and eternal, he is the master of Omeyot. Omeyokan, meaning the place where Omeyot is, where everything is conceived, from where the universe emerged. There are 13 heavens, not superimposed, but all encompassing the same space without limits. In the first heaven, there is everything that is appreciable on earth. That is Tlalkitpak, and the space where everything that is perceptible from Earth is located is called Ilwika. The thirteenth heaven is Omeyokan, where Omeyot is and is in perpetual activity, where everything is created, and from where Consequently, the remaining twelve heavens emerged. Ilwikat, meaning, it is a set of seven heavens, that is, the space between where everything that is perceptible from the earth is located. The tenth is called Mictlan. In the universe, everything flows from Omeyokan to Mictlan. Only Ometekutli is eternal. Mictlan means mansion of death. It is the heaven of total inactivity, opposite to Omeyokan. It is a space that can be entered, but from which one can never leave. It is a cold, obscure, and silent place where all activity is impossible. Teot, meaning God, or the Teot, in plural, meaning gods, invisible beings, sent to earth to ensure that life does not become extinct, that is, to ensure that natural phenomena on earth do not cease, are not abruptly interrupted, or occur disorderly, or Carelessly.